What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Play here on the Xbox One. So guys, we're starting down here in our tunnel. And of course, I went ahead and finished up like the overworld part of our tunnel. And if I turn around, we went ahead and we started the nether part. So what I did here was like I slowly phased in the nether. And then we go like full nether. So of course, whenever we you know, started in the nether, we went into uh, warped forest. That's where we spawned at. So I figured the first, first biome we should do is a warped forest. So it's the same design. Um, this is just warp planks and then warp log and then a soul lantern because I figure that's more nether. And then we got mushroom light and then we have, what even is this? A warp warp block. <laughs> and I used red nether brick here because I was going to use it in the crimson forest because I figure red but I want to use blackstone in the crimson forest and red and green go together. And I actually really like how these colors go together. So, but yeah, we're going to continue this on for, I don't know, maybe another 100, 150 blocks. Now, like usual, guys, I am out of materials to do this because, well, gathering the warp block like in the nether is a lot different than gathering like the regular trees. <laughs> They're actually kind of a pain to gather. So... Not only do I want to do that this episode, but I also want to work a little bit more on Project Alphabet and I want to get some achievements because we haven't really gotten any achievements this game, you know, since I've been playing it and, you know, maybe some of you question whether or not I'm actually in survival mode, but, you know, I don't have any Minecraft Dungeons videos coming out for like a week, so, you know, I kind of want to get some achievements. So guys, for Project Alphabet... We need to get ourselves Dragon's Breath, which goes right here. And then the Dragon Egg would go right here. The only problem is, of course, there's only one egg per world. And I want to build with it and do stuff with it. So we're actually going to leave that blank. I might just put like a placeholder in there and call it the Dragon Egg. But we know we have the Dragon Egg. So let's go ahead and actually let's go face the Ender Dragon again. Because we've only ever beaten him once on this world. So, of course, to go face the Ender Dragon, you, of course, need End Crystals which we have four of right there. And since we need Dragon's Breath, which is our next item, I need empty bottles, which I currently don't have any. So I need to go make some glass. Okay, guys, I think I have everything I need to face the Ender Dragon. We got End Crystals. Uh, I got a couple potions here just in case. Uh, we have Shulker Boxes to store the potions because, of course, they do not stack. So we're going to have a ton of Shulker Boxes of items. Um, I wish I had brought more food <laughs> because, you know, you're going to take a lot of damage, especially from this ender dragon here, because let's face it, like this is incredibly overpowered compared to Java edition, but I got firework rockets. Uh, I have TNT, which I'll just use to blow up the ones on the cages. It makes life a lot easier, but all you got to do is go here, here, here and here and magically the ender dragon responds so this is going to be like a really long battle because i'm trying to oh gosh i got like two endermen mad at me but only because i gotta try and get so much dragon's breath so i'm not gonna bore you guys with that i don't will you stop i do actually need a couple ender pearls for this battle but come on Hey, there we go. All right, guys, I'll join you after uh, he's uh, done. Or she, actually. And just like that, guys, two stacks of Dragon's Breath, and the Ender Dragon is defeated. Again. <laughs> it's actually quite easier once you get into Lytra. Like, it's almost just easy mode. So we'll go ahead and we'll scoop up some of this XP. You know, we're trying to get to level 200. So, yeah, I did risk 163 levels for you guys. Um, the next item we need for Project Alphabet uh, in the E's is Endstone and Endstone Bricks. So I'm going to hang out here a bit. Uh, I'm going to put these in a shulker box and I'm going to mine like probably a shulker box or two worth of Endstone. Just, uh, you know, so we have it for obviously the E part of. Oh, great. Invisible XP. Just so we have it for the E part of Project Alphabet. So I don't know if any of you guys just caught this. But I somehow got another dragon egg. Um, 
I didn't think you were supposed to be able to get a second dragon egg. Like, is this... This is weird, right? Yeah. That's another dragon egg. That's weird. Alright, well, I'll take it. I'm gonna head back home. Ow. Why is this room completely dark? There we go. And why did I take so much damage? But, alright, so I'm gonna head back and we'll go ahead and craft some of this endstone into the objects we need. And I guess now that we have two dragon eggs, we can put one of those in Project Alphabet 2. And in just a short amount of time, guys, we managed to make a fairly large dent in Project Alphabet. Uh, we have end rods, end stones, slabs, stairs, wall, bricks. Uh, I need a ton more obsidian to make all the ender chests. I mean, you figure I need 57 times 8 stacks. <laughs> so that's going to be a lot of obsidian. Finished the Eye of Enders and the Ender Pearls because I had them sitting up there from trading with our uh, Hoglin. Bottle of Enchanting, I got to get those through trading. So I didn't have any, so I just went and grabbed one real quick. And then I figure we'll start this chest off with a stack of feathers. So pretty decent progress so far on Project Alphabet. So let's try to get a couple achievements in this episode. Now, you guys saw me respawn the Ender Dragon, and of course an achievement didn't pop. And that's because, you know, this version of Minecraft has been out for what, like five four or five years or whatever on consoles and i've done that in other playthroughs so i didn't have that one but i am missing some of the new ones like applying wax to a copper block i believe and also whatever floats your goat which is just put a goat in a boat so let's go grab those real quick so first on our agenda is wax on wax off so all you have to do is apply wax to copper blocks and then it says you also have to remove the wax from copper blocks. So let's see here. Did that work? Okay, that did not work. Okay, well maybe that achievement is bugged right now. Um, I don't know what you have to do to get that. I thought you just had to put wax on a block. Unless you have to wax all the stages of a copper block. I don't know. All right, well, let's go hop in a boat with a goat. They shouldn't be too hard to find because, I mean, we live in a mountain biome, so they typically spawn fairly, fairly quickly. Let's see here. Do we have any goats? Ah, here we go. I finally found a goat. So evidently all I have to do is put a boat down and then hop in said boat with goat. And I guess we have to hop in the water for this to work. Go. This is painful. We are so close. There we go. Whatever floats your goat. Well, that takes care of that achievement. Give me back my boat. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I added fermented spider eye and fern, something I figured would be kind of easy. Uh, I put the copper down here to age it, maybe that'll give us the achievement, like you have to wax all four stages of the copper? I don't know. So we'll go ahead and do that, but enough horsing around today guys, we got an achievement, and we beat the ender dragon to go get some dragon's breath, so let's continue working on our tunnel, and of course to do that, we're going to have to go to the nether, and basically just chop down a whole warp forest so you guys remember how i said i'm going to go to the nether and get some supplies to build on the tunnel well this is actually my third trip to the nether to get supplies uh evidently that tunnel we're building is a hair longer than what i thought but it's not that big of a deal uh we're just going to keep on powering through basically just need a lot more wood kind of starting to get low on uh these uh mushroom lights or glow shrooms or whatever they are so i'm going to grab some of these while i'm here too and we're going to stock up on wood. And when I get back, I can show you guys exactly how much of the tunnel we got done. We are almost to the point, actually, where we have to start transitioning into, like, the, what is it, Crimson Forest? So, I mean, it'd be pretty cool to start that this episode. And then that way we can just, you know, finish the tunnel on the next one. That'd be cool. So, here's the amount of resources that we are packing, guys. And we are going to use up 
as many of these as we can. I know we don't need the gold ore, but we're actually going to try and get the achievement for 500 blocks in a minecart, which I think the minecart started around block negative 90, and you have to go 500 meters, so that would be block negative 590. So we're going to go till we hit that, and then we're going to get another achievement. So we'll get two achievements this episode, so... Let's go ahead. I'm going to buckle down and I'm just going to build this tunnel and I'll see you guys whenever I run out of resources. Okay, guys, I went ahead and threw every available block I had into this tunnel. We are going to have to go back for more resources, but I figure we'll take a ride on it and hopefully we'll get the achievement for 500 meters in a rail cart. Um, you guys have seen this beginning part, of course. Like I said, this is a beginning part of Minecraft. This is what you see in the beginning. This is what's all about um and then down here we will transition of course into the warped forest i'm actually getting it right now um i'm gonna have to take probably one or two more trips to the nether i need a lot more nether brick stairs need more warp stem and uh the ground cover warped whatever the green stuff is on the ground i need more of that so i actually I actually need a lot more warp stem because I didn't finish the center either. But uh, I finished the roof as much as I could in some spots. I think for the roof here, I might just go with a regular nether rack. Just the red nether rack, nothing, you know, special. But you can see how far I got. We got way far into this tunnel. And, you know, like I said, this is 1,400 blocks. You can tell where I ran out of stairs and everything. But, yeah, we got all the way down here. And that should theoretically pop the achievement. Maybe it'll take a second, but here's where we're actually going to transition into the Crimson Forest. So we are, we're pretty close. I mean, I just need, like I said, a lot more warp stem, a lot more stairs and, you know, just actually not even that much. Maybe like two, two and a half stacks of the ground stuff. So yeah, let me check and see why that achievement didn't pop. We had to be close. Okay, well, I have no idea why that didn't pop up. That, oh, there it is. <laughs> it just took a while. That was really delayed, but... Alright, so we got two achievements this uh, this video. That's pretty cool. Um, what I want to do now, guys, is I'll go ahead and I'll finish this up off camera. And then, you know, next video we can start the Crimson Forest. I'll probably start that a little bit like I did in the beginning of this one. But I actually want to go face the Wither again because... A, we can add one more beacon to our Project Alphabet. And... B, we need more wither roses because we're going to need, you know, obviously a stack of those to do Project Alphabet. But I want to go do that. And actually, I might want to go out to where our uh, guardian farm is and just uh, go out to the coral reef. And we need fire coral, actually. And that'll put us almost to letter G. So we made like a ton of advancement on Project Alphabet. We built this tunnel. We're about to go face the wither. We faced the ender dragon. We got two achievements. Wow. This is just kind of a crazy episode, but all right. Uh, next time you see me, I will be out at the ocean collecting fire coral. Under the sea. But check this thing out, guys. I found this coral reef. I was actually flying out to uh, the coral reef next to our guardian farm, and I found this one. And we must have been flying over this one probably the whole time. I didn't even know that. Uh, it is huge. I've been down here for a little bit now. I grabbed a bunch of extra stuff just to like, you know, add to the like the ones we couldn't get because that one next to the swamp, if you guys remember, was like super small. But yeah, this one is huge. No shipwrecks though, which is kind of weird, but whatever. But let's grab some of these and then uh, let's head back camp and I don't know. Let's let's keep working on Project Alphabet for a bit. I'm having a lot of fun this episode, if you guys can't tell, so that's why I want to keep working on stuff. Well, guys, it's the next morning for me, so excuse my morning voice, if you will, but I went ahead and I checked the wax on, wax off achievement, and you actually have to do the wax on, wax on part to all the copper variants, so that includes, like, cut copper and, uh, you know, regular copper, so we're going to go ahead and get that the next episode. Um, I went ahead and, of course, I finished putting some more items in here. Uh, we were at, I believe, Fern last time you guys checked in. And then, uh, yeah, we went and got the fire coral. Yeah, that was it. 
and then I added, uh, you know, the Fletcher table and the Flint and, you know, this stuff in. Uh, the gas tiers is going to take quite a while because obviously we also need to get the end crystals, which I don't even think we started putting any in here. If I click on the right box. Uh, yeah, this is where the end crystals would go. So we need 64 gas tiers for that. And then we need another 54 gas tiers for this. So we're going to have to go to the nether and go gas hunting. And then we have Gilded Blackstone, which this stuff only spawns in Bastions. So there is one Bastion we haven't raided yet. And, you know, maybe, well, actually there's an achievement too for distracting a piglin while using gold. So maybe we can, you know, do two of those at once. I don't know. But we're on to glass now. And uh, glass goes right here. It's like glass, glass bottle, glass pane. So I'll go ahead and let that smelt up. But getting close to when the episode is due so i'm actually going to have to call it here today guys um you know we were supposed to go face the wither but I, you guys have seen me face the wither at this point it's not even a challenge so you know if you guys want to see me face him uh go ahead leave a comment you know but we're gonna end it here so with that being said guys i will see you in the next one please remember to subscribe leave a comment and as always hit the like button I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.